to get the decision there in the end. And even then, from what we saw in the studio, the decision was questionable. Don't forget, you can see all the reaction to that on the Champions League tonight a little bit later this evening. But let's go back to the game that we were watching, which was the Liverpool game. Um, Liverpool, of course, they did do the business. They made it through. And it was another of those nights, Peter, where it... Oh, by the way, the final whistle has just gone at Tottenham as well. Um, it was one of those nights for Liverpool where it was as it has been in the Champions League, a decent performance, and they kind of ruined the Ajax spirit a couple of minutes into the second half, didn't they? Yeah, they, they, they crushed them second half. I think first half, um, Ajax started really, really well, um, and, and Liverpool rode their luck to some degree. Uh, for 40 minutes, Liverpool weren't at the best at all, but second half, totally different. They came out, the goal changed the whole dynamic of the game, and um, they won it quite easily in the end. I think, yeah, they shattered them in that opening seven minutes of the second half. Ajax probably would have gone into the half disappointed being a goal down given the performance they gave in that first 45 minutes. To come out within seven minutes and concede two goals away in which they did is pretty much games dead and yeah. buried and uh, the uphill battle for them for the, for the remainder of 35 minutes. Yeah, and for Ajax, it looks like the Europa League is the most likely route for them now. Yeah, uh, it's, it's been a tough, a tough uh, campaign for them. You know, Napoli are the informed team in Europe, really. And, and Liverpool were well versed in this tournament, so they'll be disappointed, but the Europa League will be their best bet now. Yeah, you're right. OK, well, let's just confirm exactly what we've seen then. Liverpool have done the business. They are through. We thought Tottenham had done the same. That game did finish 1-0, which means that Spurs need to go to Marseille next time out and get a point to make it through to the knockout stages. So three of the four English teams have made it through. Um, of course... We is Liverpool a good 3-0 win for them this evening against Dykes on the touch screen in a moment we'll take a look at all the goals and it means that Liverpool and Napoli go head to head at Anfield to work out who is going to win that group and Liverpool need to better the 4-1 win that Napoli had against them at the start of the campaign how about this though this evening Porto win 4-0 against Club Rouge which sends Porto through because Atletico Madrid had to win and they missed a penalty right at the end of the game so Atletico Madrid out of the Champions League um, as are Barcelona Inter Milan won 4-0 earlier this evening in the early kickoff. It meant that Barcelona were out before a, goal, a ball was even kicked and they were beaten 3-0 this evening by Bayern Munich. And then, as we've just seen, it finished one all in North London, which means that Tottenham were so close to making it through, but they now have to go to Marseille for the final game in their group. And then it's a winner-takes-all shootout to see who makes it through to the knockout stages in this season's competition. So, lots was sorted out this evening. A few things weren't. Let's get some reaction, though, to the game that we covered. Liverpool's brilliant win in Amsterdam. Let's go back there now and hear from a couple of the players. Des. I'm here with Andy and Harvey. Andy, a big win. A lot hanging on this game. You've avoided that sort of last group game shootout. Great performance. Yeah, obviously, the start of the game was a wee bit. Um, we knew they, you know, they had to win. Everyone knew what the circumstances were in the game, and they've obviously tried to start fast. I don't think we... We calmed down quick enough, you know, losing too many balls and things like that. But the important thing was we didn't concede and we stayed in the game. You know, I think they had one big chance, but other than that, we managed to, um, you know, keep it tight. And then it was just about getting the first goal, um, winning second balls. And Hendo's done unbelievable to pick out Mo. And um, yeah, I think after that goal, we really settled down. We started playing our own football. And then second half, we really came into our own and, um, you know, obviously got a massive three points. And it's always nice to, to get through, um, you know, before the last game. Harvey, was, was the diff one of the big differences was finishing, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think when you come away to a stadium like this, um, you're always going to get limited chances and it's just about making sure you take them. Um, and I think tonight we were, we were very clinical, um, as you can see from the scoreline. Um, so, yeah, all around, all around good game and good performance. Yeah, Mo got the first. And Darwin, Darwin you know, well, let's say he... If, he messed up the first effort, but he fixed it in the end. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I think that's what strikers need to do, to be honest. Uh, just get mistakes or whatever out the way and, and not dwell on it too much. And that's exactly what he done. And at the end of the day, he, he got his uh, he got his goal, which is uh, what he deserved. He, he ran all around the pitch tonight and, um, yeah, got his goal, which is which is the main thing. And then, as Andy said, the confidence began to grow. We haven't forgot your goal, of course. You, you weren't passing that <laughs> if you way. Missed you, if you missed, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, just one of them. Make sure I get a clean strike and uh, accuracy and, yeah. Thankfully, it came in, so my right leg isn't just for standing on, which is good. <laughs> you, you had to respond, as you said. I mean, in the second half, you pretty much had control, didn't you? Yeah, I had control. Like Darwin was in at half-time, really, uh, really angry at himself, you know, disappointed at himself for missing that chance. I sat next to him in the change room. I don't know if he understood a word I said, but I said, <laughs> I'll put a cross in your head and you'll score, no problem. So um, maybe we need to say that more often, but... 
obviously when he got the second goal, then we just kind of, you know, obviously a two-goal cushion is always dangerous, but it's always nice as well. And then we followed it up, fantastic goal by Harve. Um, and then I think we were pretty much in control. You know, we started making changes, could could rest a couple of people, and um, you know the younger lads came on and you know done excellent as well. We started controlling the game, and um, yeah, look, three 0 at this place. You know, really tough place to come. Um, three 0 a clean sheet, which is so important for us just now. And um, yeah, we need to, you know, we're just happy we're through now, last 16, and um, like you said, with a game to spare. Well, well done them. Uh, look, we'll take a look actually at Darwin Nunez's night a little bit later on because uh, Peter can talk to us just what life is like as a striker when things don't go your way and then you eventually put the ball in the back up. of the net. <laughs> no, we eventually put the ball in the back of the net. Oh, OK, sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, Peter obviously did it less frequently. Not put the ball in the back of the net, made mistakes. Oh, okay. um, listen, let's go, through the, <laughs> let's go through the goals and we'll start with, uh, with Mo Salah. And before we play this, you know, let's just remind ourselves, as Andy said, you know, at this point, Ajax were looking great, weren't they? Yeah, they were. They, they were the team that you thought were going to go on and get the first goal, and they missed a couple of chances at this point. And you're thinking Liverpool on the ropes a little bit, but it comes down to quality. And, and Jordan Henderson, this defender, you've got to smell the danger. Get yourself across there as quick as possible. I know it happens quick, but you've got to react quickly and you've got to smell the danger before it happens. They don't do that here. But what the ball is it. absolutely phenomenal. But one thing I would say, and I'll be asking questions in the change room after, where, the, where are you going? Mm. Why are you out here in no man's land coming here? You're going to give the forward a decision to make quicker than he, than he would normally in, in a normal situation. In this situation, Pete, mm. you take a touch, I'm sure, if mm. the keeper's on his line still. Yeah, without doubt, I don't think he's going to score from there that first time. But the keeper makes his mind up straight away. Salah could see him out the corner of his eye. But having said that, it is a tremendous finish. Mm. I just think on Great that, Rio, you know, the, the, the distance or, or the angle of which the balls come, the keeper should just let the defenders defend it first. If it was a straight ball, a straight run, then the keeper has to try and make a different decision. I just think the angle it's come on here, keeper got to let, let as them as defend. Well. I mean, yeah. The, I love that he's looking. You can see the eyes there looking, and then obviously they have, having yeah, the ability cool. to play that pass. And this is what they start finished. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they got away with one, uh, well, a couple actually. I think Ajax should have scored two goals in that in that first half. Early on, the first five ten minutes. They were all over Liverpool. They swarmed them. The atmosphere was electric in there and they really played off of that and fed off it. But then an opportunity comes for that man, Salah. Um, people win saying he's out of form and whatnot, but a chance comes in and bang, he scores. What a finish. A fantastic finish. And, and for, for most of the, the, the half, Mo Salah playing that central hasn't been in the game. This pass here from Henderson outside of his boot and the keeper just makes the goal even bigger for Salah. You don't want to give strikers like that the opportunity to, to make the goal look even bigger when he does it. This is a, a great round of corner pass from Henderson. But if you just highlight, we've highlighted uh, Blind here. He should, he should already see that Bassett's come out and he needs to get himself across and pick up Salah. He doesn't. And you give that man time and space inside the box and, and he does thing. things like this. Because I have to do that. Timber goes out there and the, the, Bailey Blind has to cover him there. But it's literally the one moment of quality. I don't know how many shots I'm talking about. I don't know the stats, but... That moment of quality is the, is, is, is the difference. Mm. Listen, Ajax have to win this evening. Mm. And as you've said, I mean, they, they could have been tuning up very easily. They started so well. They will be so frustrated oh. that, uh, after that first half. They were the better team all over the park. There was a little spell in the middle of that f uh, first half where they came back into it, Liverpool. But this is beautiful from Tadic. How he gets out of that corner, uh, corner there. And then from there on, a bit of fortune there, but great pass, great first touch. Andy doesn't smash yeah, that's a great there. move, fantastic move. Tadic in the corner was fantastic, and then he could hit it first time, or even that he has to score. You can't even give Berghaus the, the benefit, the doubt of being a little bit off, off balance. He has to bury that, even if you know, even before he gets a shot away, he could have got it away earlier than that. Okay, they were just opened up, Liverpool weren't they? Liverpool didn't look aggressive. Mm. They wasn't pressing together. They, you know, they just. They looked like they, they'd lost organisation all across the park. They didn't, you, you can see here, the aggression from, from Ajax. They, they wanted it more. They looked as if they wanted it more. Yeah. But I think uh, this, is, this is a big miss. Massive block from Trent. Mm. They got away with one there, Liverpool. Um, but you have said that, the goal will change the mindset now. They, they look like they're coming back into it a little bit more. Yeah. Well, it is a scoreline that flatters the visitors, doesn't it? In fact, it could be...